Hello everybody, it's Mr. Tall23 back in their video. This is another video on the basic doctrines of the Bible. Today I want to talk about the subject of salvation by grace through faith alone. We believe that a man is justified or made right in the eyes of God, and that he is saved from his sins simply by faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. That is, that he must trust in or believe in the name and of the person of Jesus Christ, and in doing so he has been given everlasting life. The question is only asked once in the Bible, what must I do to be saved? And that's in Acts chapter 16, verse 30, where it says, And brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? Verse 31, And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved, and thy house. It is a guarantee that the only requirement for salvation is just believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. For it says, Thou shalt be saved. It's an absolute statement, rather than thou might be saved, or thou can be saved. No, the only requirement is, is belief on the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus himself said in John 3:16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. The word whosoever means anybody or whoever. That is, all who believe on him, Jesus says, shall not perish or shall not die, but they have everlasting life. Because of our sins, we are already dead spiritually and on our way to hell, but through Jesus Christ and putting our faith in him and what he did in his death, burial, and resurrection, we are quickened or made alive and given everlasting life. The moment that our faith is placed on the Lord Jesus, in fact, we are given that eternal life. It's written in John 3.36, He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. In John 6.47, Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me hath everlasting life. When we believe on him, meaning trust in our hearts in Christ and not anything else, not anyone else, but trust in him to save us, then we, at that moment, have everlasting life. All who do so, all who believe on him, are saved from their sins at that point and have been given the free gift of God. This is the only way to receive the free gift of salvation and eternal life, to ask for it through faith. Therefore, any other attempts at being justified fail. As it's written in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8-9, to 9, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. So we're not saved by works. We're not saved by that which we do, but we're saved by grace through faith. We don't deserve salvation because we are condemned as wicked sinners. But God shows mercy and unmerited love and kindness, which is grace, unto us when we simply admit that we ourselves are sinners and in humility believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, believe on the name of the Lord to save us from our sins. It says in Romans 3.28, Therefore we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. In Romans 4.5 it says, But to him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. So our own works and our own obedience to the commandments of God are entirely separate from salvation. We couldn't keep the law of God in the first place. Our disobedience is what was condemning us in the past, but our sins are forgiven and we are justified or made righteous before God only through faith. Our sins are taken away from us and God's perfect righteousness is placed upon us and the only way to experience this great conversion is through faith, not of works. As it says in Titus 3 verse 5 to 7, not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to his mercy he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost, which he shed on us abundantly through Jesus Christ our Savior, that being justified by his grace, we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. Those who have believed wrongly and have trusted in their own works, trusted in themselves, in their baptism, or anything else besides Jesus Christ in order to get them to heaven, they are in danger. For Jesus is the only way to heaven, the only way to God, and the only way to receive eternal life. Therefore, the Bible says in Hebrews 6, 1, Therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ, let us go on unto perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith toward God. That is the foundation of of our faith, of our beliefs, the repentance from dead works toward God. Repentance is a change of mind or a turning. When we turn from trusting in one thing to placing our face on another thing, that is repentance. We have to change what we believe, to give up on all things which we formerly trusted in for our salvation and to place all of our faith on the Lord Jesus. In Romans chapter 10, verse 9 to 11, it says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised from the dead, Thou shalt be saved. 
For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. So all those who have done so, simply believing on the Lord Jesus Christ, without any works, without any of their own righteousness, but simply through faith, through belief, through trust, if they believe on the Lord Jesus Christ in your heart, and you express that faith by calling on the name of the Lord God in prayer, anybody who does that has for sure received the gift, the gift which Jesus Christ paid with his own blood, the gift of eternal life, the free gift of salvation. Thank you, buddy, for watching, and goodbye.